Hey, sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Valentine's Day 2023 fragrances. I can't believe we already talking about Valentine's Day when we just said Happy New Year like last week, okay? But we already talking about Valentine's Day and I gotta get y'all ready, gotta get y'all geared up. Now is the time to get your fragrances so you're ready for the big day. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about all different types of Valentine's Day dates or whatever y'all doing that day. I think I got a fragrance for everybody. So I got three in each category and the first day is gonna be that, a first date. So a lot of times when people are dating valentine's day is their big first date where they're actually you know going to a very nice restaurant and you know the, they're laying out the red carpet before each other because they really want to impress each other and show each other a good time and this is the day to do it so for a first date you want to be nice and feminine girly and all of that you know you don't want to come in straight in with the oobs you know what i'm saying because you don't know them like that you don't know you like that you don't want to put nobody off so you want to come in feminine girly you know something that they want to be like she smells amazing you definitely want that now we ain't coming in with no delinas or no br540s because every time the girls think they doing something special they want to put on delina or br540 you don't want to go on the date and he'd be like damn she smell like keisha so we want to reach for girly feminine fragrances that the average girl may not be wearing. So we're going to start off with Crystal Love for Her by Atar Collection. If you have not tried this fragrance, you absolutely should. It's a beautiful, fruity, floral fragrance. It's fruity and it's got rose in it. You have to be a rose lover. Even though the rose is not super prominent in here, the notes are actually blended very well. It has chocolate in it to give it like a nice sweetness. It also has vanilla in it, but it's not super sickingly sweet. It's, and the chocolate is not like super chocolatey. And I think this would be perfect for a first date. It smells so good. It's got like the floral, it's got the fruitiness, it's got the sweetness. So it has everything in it. And yeah it just smells real good like i love this one of my favorite atar fragrances and you should definitely get your nose on this now like i said we don't want to come in with delina but we can't come in with her cousin oriana because i don't think that a lot of people are just gonna have on oriana oriana is such a girly feminine fragrance and we all know it like i said the bottle screams february it screams valentine's day and it just it's just a good pick it's safe and most people are attracted to it men women whoever you dating i think they would like this fragrance it's just a pretty marshmallowy, bubble gummy type of fragrance with that orange blossom and it just smells really good and girly. It's not doing the most. It's not screaming and filling up the whole restaurant. It's definitely something that the person across from you or next to you, depending on how y'all want to sit, is, you know, they're going to smell it on you. And I think this is just girly and crowd pleasing and i don't think too many people would hate this this pretty much works for pretty much everybody i think it's better than love don't be shy in my opinion and this would definitely be perfect for a first date the last one for our first date is definitely another fruity floral fragrance and this is one no matter what climate you live in no matter you know none of that because this is an all year round type of fragrance and i think that this is definitely mass appealing and it's 100 silent ways by nishane now this one is a little more fruity than crystal love so if you like it to be more fruity and less floral i would go with this one more uh watery type of fruit and it just smells good it's not super thick dense and heavy but it also has a sweetness to it from the fruits and it does have that floral in there and i just feel like you can't go wrong with this like it just smells so good the sillage on this is nice like it kind of lingers and i really really like this fragrance and like i said i think no matter who you're dating they would like this fragrance they would want to smell you they're gonna be like what do you have on they probably haven't smelled this before so this would be a good pick because keisha didn't have on a hundred side ways so the next day is new boo so this is new boo y'all been dating for a minute y'all been together for about a year because it, it take about a year for you to really know somebody okay so this is new boo and y'all all in now you know y'all been on dates before but this is special this is like you know a valentine's day where y'all really know each other a lot better than you did before the honeymoon stage is really fun it's flirty it's all of that so you know y'all in the at restaurant can't wait to get home to netflix and chill or do whatever y'all gonna do you know what i'm saying and you just feel like you just so in love so rolling in love will be perfect this is just a nice scent that you can wear to dinner and take it right into netflix and chill right into just relaxing right to the hotel whatever y'all gonna do 
this will do it for you and like i said it's nice and intimate so it's not going to be you know all over the place it's right there going to be there with you and your partner y'all both will smell it and it'll just be like a nice bubble around y'all and y'all will be in the bubble of love the bubble of love girl for valentine's day and i just think this is nice and pretty almondy powdery from the iris sweet from the vanilla so it's kind of got all of those feminine qualities to it and this is perfect for new boo status now if this is new boo then new boo knows that you're into fragrance so you know he might be expecting you to come in with something a little different for this day i think rose prick by time four is a perfect new boo type of date fragrance because it's definitely different it's got the rose you gotta be a rose lover it's powdery on me a little bit of green but definitely spicy with that pepper so to me i like this because it's giving you everything it's giving you the florals it's giving you a little spice it's giving you a little softness and powderiness to make it feminine to me i know this is a unisex scent but to me this means feminine and i just think the even the longer i've had it it just smells better and more feminine and more powdery when i first had it it was more green the greenness is pulled back but it's still there slightly and i think this is definitely a good introduction to let them know fragrance is what i do now if Nubu knows you're into fragrance and you know they know you already love fragrance you want to come in with something different something a little spicy you know what i'm saying something that's going to be a little more filling up the room a little more you want people at the next table to be like Ooh, who smells so good you go in with green charnel girl i had a decant of this and fell in love with it and definitely had to give me a full bottle so this is definitely good for Nubu status because Nubu ain't smelled this keisha wasn't wearing this child Brie Charnel is definitely giving something different, honey. That cardamom spiciness, I love that in this fragrance. The tea is not super prominent, so it's not just like a tea fragrance. It's got the fig in it. And I think the fragrance is just blended really, really nice. It's got vetiver in it. It's not that musty vetiver. It's all been on this, but I just got on the train, honey. And I ain't leaving, okay? I'm not leaving. Next type of date night is hubby, wifey, long time boo, long time partner. Y'all been together for a long time, a minute, or y'all married and y'all already know each other. Y'all know how each other get down. So they kind of already know what to expect with you. So tonight is the night when you're going to pull out the heavy hitters, okay? You're going to bring out some oohs. You're going to bring out some sexiness. You're going to bring out all of that. We're going to start off with Lancome's Oud Bouquet. Now this fragrance is definitely not for everybody but it's for the oud lovers the rose lovers the sweet lovers if you like all three of those in one fragrance this is the girl for you she projects she's long lasting she's beautiful like i love this fragrance now you see i haven't worn much of it because i got a dupe of it honey so if you don't want to spend 200 dollars on this you can definitely buy oud saffron from orientica so i'll have everything linked of course but this is definitely a good good dupe for oud bouquet only thing I would say with Oud Bouquet, I feel like she lasts longer, but this is still a long-lasting fragrance. Like, where I might get six hours out of this, I'm getting like eight to ten out of this. You know what I'm saying? So, but this is definitely more affordable, same type of type of thing. But your partner, your hubby, your boo, your wifey, they know you into Ouds. They know you like powerhouses, and you coming out with Oud Bouquet because she's sweet, rosy, Oudy. She's everything. She's got attitude. I told y'all we bringing out the oud, but the, the, the sexy oud, okay? The sexy oud, and we're going to go with Passion de L'Amour. If you like oud and you like feminine ouds, this to me is a feminine oud because I just really don't feel like the oud is prominent in here. It's definitely there, but it's blended in a feminine type of way. Oh, this is just such a good fragrance, like... I, do they make large cupcakes? I need a large cupcake. I need like a colossal cupcake. So this is definitely something where Boo know you. He know how you get down. He know what you into. And this is a sexy type of booty fragrance. Last for our sexy fragrance is Cavore. Love this fragrance. If you like saffron and cinnamon, it's got like ylang ylang in it to make it like smooth and kind of like a creamy floral type of vibe. Sandalwood, rose, and incense. Like... Mm, you smell the incense in here, but it's blended it's so perfect. The cinnamon in here, you can smell that. It just smells so good. I have been obsessed with this since I got this fragrance, and I love it so much. It's so sexy for a date night. It's long-lasting. It, like, does fill up a room. Like, it's just such a beautiful scent. Like, girl, you want to put on turn on sexy? This is her. I know everybody don't like it, but this, for me, is that girl.
So our next date is the one with our girls. Our girls, you know, we got some single friends and we go out with them and, you know, just make their day special for a Valentine's Day. You know, they single, they definitely ready to mingle, but they just haven't found anybody that, you know, fits the bill yet. So we're going to go out with our girls and have a girls night. Now, I don't know about y'all, but my friends that I hang out with, they not for our kids. They wear perfume, but, you know... They ain't really frag kids. They ain't really all intonation and all of that. So, you know, I want to wear something that I know that they're not going to have on. So, I'm going to start off with Rosendo number six. And this is my scent of the day. I have been really loving this fragrance. And it just smells so good. You have to be a floral lover to love it because it's definitely florals. But it has like a creaminess to it from the sandalwood and coconut. And you, you really don't smell like the coconut like doesn't really smell like coconut in here but it gives it a creaminess so it's definitely a floral the jasmine isn't heady and stinky in here it just smells so good has a slight sweetness to it and man if you love florals like a nice sweet creamy floral this is beautiful so i know none of your girls are gonna have this on so you can definitely wear this and they're gonna be like girl what you got on and somebody else in the bar might ask you that too Valentine's Day is definitely a time for roses and popping champagne and all of that. And you know none of your girls is going to have on Dime Rosa. So this is a perfect fragrance to wear for that. This is a woody rose fragrance. So it does have the champagne on the top. So you pop that bottle and then you get into a nice woody rose. The champagne doesn't stay long for me, but it's okay. I just love the effervescence-ness of the fragrance. You know, that sparkliness. I should have just said that. But yeah, that's what I like about the um, opening for sure. And then it's a nice woody rose there's not a lot of good woody roses out there so this is definitely unique and special in that way and i feel like none of your girls are gonna have this on they're gonna ask you what you're wearing and you know this is a good choice for a girl's night out if you want to wear something sweet with a little bit of spice you don't think your girls are gonna have this on go ahead and put on ani ani is a good safe choice not safe as in safe to blind by but safe to know that your girls aren't gonna have this on okay probably not gonna have this on the ginger is so beautiful in this fragrance and it stays through the life of the fragrance for me. I keep that ginger and that vanilla the whole way through and it just gives it like a nice spiciness to it and I really like that. This is a unisex scent so no matter who you are you can wear this and no matter who your partner is they will probably like the way it smells on you. So I think Ani will be perfect to wear on a girl's night out. So our next type of date is I'm my own Valentine. I don't have a date. I'm not going out with the girls. They're all on dates with their partners. So I'm going to take myself out on a nice solo day and just live in all my glory give me some self-care me time and just let myself know that i am that girl and i'm great you're not going to be with anybody else so br540 the extra is perfect for that i love this fragrance it's definitely a confidence booster for me this reminds me of my dad in such a confident way because he always let me know that you are that girl okay so anytime i pick up this fragrance i think about him and this would definitely be something that i would wear on a solo day because i want that confident feeling and this is just BR540 DX Straight. Like, I love this one better than the original. I love the original. But this one, if I had to choose between the two, this is the one I would go with. That almondy sweetness in here is just... Mm, mm, mm. this was probably one of your first niche fragrances and when you bought it you felt good about yourself you said i did that on my own i bought it on my own and i smell amazing i smell expensive and all of that you know what i'm saying so this is perfect to wear on a solo day because it's gonna really give you a pick me up to let you know that you are that girl so another type of solo day is just an in-home self-care loving on me spending time with me you know and just chilling type of date so you might want to take a nice hot shower a nice hot bath you know what i'm saying you want to really just oil yourself down make yourself smell so good comfy cozy you want to curl up in the bed or on the couch watch some of your favorite movies you might want to be journaling you might want to you know pray you might want to do a whole lot of things but you want to be comfy cozy and just in one with yourself and for that, I'm going to pick Musk 12. This is one of my favorite Musk fragrances. And it's just such a simple Musk fragrance, but it's done to perfection. It's done so beautifully. Like, Kayali did that with this Musk. It gives you like a nice musky powderiness, kind of like Poudre from Narciso, but it's, it's pulled back. It's not so super powdery. It's more pulled back and more like a light musky fragrance. It smells clean. It smells kind of soapy. And I just love this. Like when I put this on, I smell so good, so clean, so feminine, so wrapped up in my own cocoon. And you have to love a musky fragrance, but this musk is so beautiful. Love this. 
Now, you might want to take yourself out on a solo date and then come home and do your self-care and Netflix and chill and all of that. And this fragrance is perfect for that because who doesn't love a good vanilla? This is Mercedes-Benz Club Black and I love this vanilla. It's slightly woody. It's got incense to make it a little smoky. It's got the bergamot up at the top. It kind of reminds me of Casablanca a little bit, but not so much with the, you know, apple at the top. It's more of a bergamot and it kind of dies down pretty quick to go into a nice smoky woody vanilla and this is giving you know a lot of vanillas a run for their money for higher price points so this is affordable and i think this is something that you can take yourself out on the solo day come on home to netflix and chill and you'll be smelling nice sweet and creamy the whole time now you know the sprayer is is like this so you can't have fingernails if you want to uh <laughs> use this but you know i decant it into a you know a decant atomizer so that i can just spray it all over me but y'all this right here is such a good vanilla okay y'all this is the last type of date now this is either y'all going straight in with it because that's where y'all at with it or you know this might be the part after dinner honey this is leather pajamas honey this is when y'all been having y'all wine y'all drinks and all of that it's time to go to the hotel and honey y'all feeling faded and x-rated this is when it's time to get down with get down ain't you know we busting in the door all over each other you know what i'm saying like this is type this is where we at with it and y'all know what i'm gonna start with i ain't even gonna talk about her long because you know the good judy is you know she is leather pajamas you know how i get with this y'all know how i get with this okay i ain't even gonna speak about it too long but baby y'all know black phantom turns me up <laughs> okay i love me some black phantom it's that chocolate that coffee that sweetness that richness that it's just a sexy fragrance to me i know people say this is unisex which it is but man i'm telling you when i put this on i feel so good so sexy so edible and this is just a bomb fragrance y'all know i speak about this so much so i'm gonna keep it moving because you already know she whips and chains you already know now this one i don't talk about much but honey she is definitely sexy af everybody talks about the original but honey ooh satin mood the extract is that girl it definitely has the ooh satin mood dna so you're getting that that ooh that smells like leather it just smells like leather to me and then it's sweet from the vanilla or whatever is in there making it sweet but this one has like a little kick of cinnamon it smells a little more powdery like i love this you have to, i think you have to like powdery fragrances to like this and of course you have to like ooh but it's like ooh powdery sweetness and it's just super sexy because it's super soft and feminine to draw you in but once you know that that ooh start coming out smell like leather that's when they grab you girl stop it girl let's just put that down but this is sexy Last but certainly not least, this is definitely super sexy and it's we're gonna make it extra sexy tonight. And it's ooh for greatness. And how we're gonna make it extra sexy is we both gonna wear it. Now normally I wouldn't want my man to wear what I'm gonna wear, but tonight, honey, we both gonna put this on, honey. And once the sweat and the heat from our bodies and the pheromones get to kicking up, that sweetness comes off our skin and we get to smelling different. Mmm, child. This is nice, okay? We talking handcuffs, chocolate, and whipped cream, and all that. Like, girl, we getting down with the get down. This this is sexy, okay? This is sexy. So, ooh for greatness. And y'all both wear it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Edible panties and oil. Ooh, child, I got a little rounds up, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Y'all let me know what y'all plan on wearing for Valentine's Day 2023. What is a sexy fragrance? What is a first date fragrance? A boo up thing fragrance? Like, give, give me all of them, y'all. Definitely leave everything down in the comments. And make sure you like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.